Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install Ubuntu operating system on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system using VMware player. So hopefully you have a VMware player installed on your Windows operating system. If you don't have, I will uh, put uh, the link so that you can click and see how you can download and install VMware player on your uh, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. After installing VMware player, you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, desktop icon on your desktop. So you just need to click this VMware player. But to install Ubuntu on your VMware player, you also need to have Ubuntu ISO file. So this ISO file, how you can uh, get, you just need to search uh, on your favorite browser Ubuntu and in here www.ubuntu.com just click it and in here you will be able to see uh, the Ubuntu uh, versions to download. So you just need to go to download and in here Ubuntu desktop and in here you will be able to see uh, which version of Ubuntu are available uh, at this time. So at the time of making this video there are two versions available. One is Ubuntu 14.04 LTS which is a long term uh, uh, version and other is Ubuntu 14.10 which is uh, which will be only valid for nine months and then they will release a new version of Ubuntu. So generally I will recommend this LTS version. This LTS version will be valid for almost five years. So uh, just first of all you must know what type of windows operating system you have most probably if you have a relatively new computer you must have 64 bit operating system but it may uh, have a, you know 32 bit operating system so to check uh, on windows 8.1 you just need to go to system search for uh, system and click it and in here you will be able to find in system type what uh, system you have. I have 64 bit operating system. So I will uh, choose 64 bit operating system and click download. And in here, uh, if you want to donate to Ubuntu, uh, you can donate. Otherwise, uh, Ubuntu is open source and free. So you may not wish to donate if you want and you can just drag every uh, uh, slide to zero and then you can just click this download button. So once you click this download button you will be able to uh, see the download Ubuntu download here. So you can see uh, Ubuntu minus 14.04.1 uh, minus desktop minus AMD 64 dot ISO file so this will be a ISO file and it will take some time to download maybe uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes because it's about 981 MB file so just download this file I have already downloaded this uh, ISO file Ubuntu 14.4 uh, ISO file so once you download uh, this file you are ready to install Ubuntu on your VMware player. So just open your VMware player and uh, just click this uh, uh, option here, create a new virtual machine. And in here, you can choose uh, which option you want. So you just, just need to click this installer disk uh, image file, which is ISO file and browse for your ISO file wherever it is 
so this is my ISO file location which I have downloaded from Ubuntu and then click mm, I will install the operating system later okay click next now you need to choose which uh, type of operating system uh, you want to install so just uh, choose Linux because Ubuntu is a Linux operating system and we are going to install Ubuntu 64 so just choose Ubuntu 64 bit okay click next and in here you can give the name to your uh, Ubuntu operating system I will leave it as default but you can change uh, this uh, name and the location generally I will leave as default click next in here you can uh, give the I mean the maximum disk size to your operating system so uh, 20 GB is enough for 64-bit uh, uh, Ubuntu operating system but if you want to uh, increase it you can increase it from here for now I will just allocate 20 GB for me it's uh, okay and then I will click next and this will show the your uh, settings so what settings you have chosen for Ubuntu and just click finish once you click finish you will be able to see uh, this virtual machine is created here right now once you create your Ubuntu uh, virtual machine uh, you can change its setting by going to edit virtual machine settings and in here you can change uh, the settings for example uh, by default it allocates only one processor uh, to the, your virtual machine but you can choose uh, uh, more processors for example I will choose four for now and in here hard disk uh, you will be able to see the hard disk current size and system uh, uh, maximum size 20 GB so it's okay for me and then here is the CD DVD options network options and other options are here okay so in this uh, CD slash uh, DVD option you need to choose your ISO file once again so just uh, uh, click this option CD slash uh, DVD auto detect uh, uh, is uh, by default selected but you need to ch choose your ISO file so just click this radio button use ISO file and browse for your ISO file wherever your ISO file is so my ISO file is here once again I will choose my ISO file which I have downloaded uh, right now from Ubuntu website right and uh, then uh, there are some other settings here uh, if you want to play with but I will leave them as default for now and this memory also you can increase it to uh, suit your uh, requirement for example I will increase it to 2 GB and in here in the options tab you have uh, the options to choose uh, shared folder and uh, uh, virtual uh, VMware tools uh, which are the tools which are required by your guest operating system but uh, for now I will uh, leave everything as default and if required I will uh, install them later once everything is set you are ready to click this play virtual machine button so select your operating system and click play virtual machine and for the first time it will uh, show you this these options click ok for every option and here software updates uh, you can choose download and install the following software will be available VMware tool for Linux so the, these tools uh, are required by your guest operating system for, for example Ubuntu 
to uh, you know give you better performance on virtual machines so uh, if you choose you just click download and install and it will download uh, this these uh, VMware tools and it will increase uh, the resolution uh, or other features of your uh, Linux uh, virtual machine so I will just download them and install them and I will uh, uh, let this process to go on and by the meantime my Ubuntu uh, virtual machine has been started and it's ready to install select your language in here uh, I choose English as my language and I will click install Ubuntu so just click install Ubuntu and in here it will show preparing to install Ubuntu and it will uh, give you this option that you must have at least 6.5 GB of available space which we have we have 20 GB and you have uh, connected internet I also have this and in here the option to download update while installing uh, is a good option and if you choose you can install third-party software and click continue and uh, then we will go to the next step which is uh, this computer currently has a no detected operating system what would you like to do so you just need to uh, uh, choose the first option which is the default option erase disk and install Ubuntu don't worry it will not erase your uh, uh, host operating system it's just a virtual machine so you can uh, uh, safely select erase disk and install Ubuntu it will not erase your original operating system so just click install now and the location you need to choose if you need to change you can change it but it's okay for me so I will click continue and here you can choose your keyboard layout so for example uh, by default it's English but if you have a keyboard layout uh, to uh, some particular country or language you can choose it from here for example my keyboard layout is German so I will just search uh, for a German layout which is keyboard layout so I will just search for German which is here and in German also there are many options but I will choose the first option general option and in here you can uh, you know print your key keys so that you can check whether it's working or not and click continue and now you just need to give the name to your Ubuntu operating system which is your name for example programming knowledge and then you need to pick the password for your Ubuntu operating system so you just need to uh, know remember this password in order to log in once again so just choose a password which is most appropriate for you and then uh, require my password leave it as default click continue and now uh, the installation has been started so it will take some time to install Ubuntu by the meantime you can also click this install VMware tool which will en enable uh, some features on your system so click yes and click ok and I will let this process to go on and once some important step occurs I will uh, restart the videos So now it's installing uh, system files and after this it's almost complete so I will wait for uh, this process to complete also. 
so now our installation is complete and uh, this Ubuntu is telling us to restart uh, this virtual machine so I will just click this restart and for the first time when you install uh, Ubuntu on uh, VMware or any uh, other virtual machine it may uh, take some time to restart so if it doesn't restart you just need to power off your virtual machine and then start your Ubuntu once again so for example in this case let's uh, wait for three or four seconds otherwise we will restart or start Ubuntu by ourselves but Ubuntu is restarted by itself so we don't need to do anything right now and Ubuntu is ready to use so you just need to give your password and enter your password and now we are almost ready to use Ubuntu so in some moment hopefully we will see the sidebar here and now sidebar is here so we can use this sidebar I will click this maximize button but nothing happens so what I will try is I'll try this option I enter full screen mode and still it doesn't uh, go in full screen mode so I will change to this option so to solve this problem of uh, the screen resolution what you can do is you can go to your system so just go to system settings so go to this small button and go to system settings and in system settings you need to go to display uh, settings so just click this display settings here display and in display by default uh, when you install Ubuntu on uh, uh, virtual machine its uh, resolution is 800 cross 600 but uh, the actual resolution for our machine we uh, need is 1360 cross 768 or uh, for better resolution you can choose uh, the upper options also but for now I will choose this option 63 uh, 1360 cross 768 and then I will click OK or apply from here and now it opens this in uh, better resolution but this also for my uh, system or my screen it's a little bit lesser so I will increase it once again to 1920 because my computer resolution is this one 1920 cross 1440 okay so you need to set the resolution according to your uh, screen computer screen and so I will choose it once again and apply so now the uh, configuration is uh, totally fine for me so I will just say keep this configuration and apply keep this configuration and just close it so now this uh, has increased your resolution also and now you can uh, start using Ubuntu on your virtual machine as a normal operating system so I can open terminal and it will open it and you can use it uh, however you want so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now